The king cobra, Ophiophagus hanna, is a venomous snake endemic to Asia. With an average length of 3.18 to 4 m, 10.4 to 13.1 feet, and a maximum record of 5.85 m, 19.2 feet, it is the world's longest venomous snake. Coloration of this species varies across habitats, from black with white stripes to unbroken brownish gray. The sole member of the genus Ophiophagus, it is not taxonomically a true cobra, despite its common name and some resemblance. The king cobra inhabits forests from south to southeastern Asia, where it preys chiefly on other snakes, including those of its kind. A female king cobra builds a nest to hold its eggs, which will be protected throughout the incubation period. The threat display of this elapid includes spreading its neck flap, raising its head upright, making eye contact, puffing, hissing, and occasionally charging. Despite its fearsome reputation, altercations usually only arise from an individual inadvertently exposing itself or being chased. However, if provoked or cornered, it is capable of striking long in range and high in position. Bites from this species are medically significant, which may result in a rapid fatality unless anti-venom is administrated in time. Threatened by habitat destruction, it has been listed as vulnerable on the IUCN Red List since 2010. Regarded as the National Reptile of India, it has an eminent position in the mythology and folk traditions of India, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and Myanmar. The King Cobra is also referred to by the common name Hamadriyad, especially in older literature. Hamadrias Hanna was the scientific name used by Danish naturalist Theodore Edward Cantor in 1836, who described four King Cobra specimens, three captured in the Sundarbans and one in the vicinity of Kolkata. Naya Bungarus was proposed by Hermann Schlegel in 1837, who described a King Cobra zoological specimen from Java. In 1838, Cantor proposed the name Hamadrias Ophiophagus for the King Cobra and explained that it has dental features intermediate between the genera Naja and Bungarus. Naya Vitata, proposed by Walter Elliott in 1840, was a King Cobra caught offshore near Chennai that was floating in a basket. Hamadrias elapsed proposed by Albert Gunther in 1858 were king cobra specimens from the Philippines and Borneo. Gunther considered both N. bungarus and N. vitata a variety of H. elapse. The genus Ophiophagus was proposed by Gunther in 1864. The name is derived from its propensity to eat snakes. A phylogenetic analysis of mitochondrial DNA showed that specimens from Suratani and Nakhon Sitamar provinces in southern Thailand form a deeply divergent clade from those from northern Thailand, which grouped with specimens from Myanmar and Guangdong in southern China. The king cobra's skin is olive green with black and white bands on the trunk that converge to the head. The head is covered by 15 drab-colored and black-edged shields. The muzzle is rounded and the tongue black. It has two fangs and three five maxillary teeth in the upper jaw and two rows of teeth in the lower jaw. The nostrils are between two shields. The large eyes have a golden iris and round pupils. Its hood is oval-shaped and covered with olive-green smooth scales and two black spots between the two lowest scales. Its cylindrical tail is yellowish-green above and marked with black. It has a pair of large occipital scales on top of the head, 17 to 19 rows of smooth oblique scales on the neck, and 15 rows on the body. Juveniles are black with chevron-shaped white, yellow or buff bars that point towards the head. Adult king cobras are 3.18 to 4 m, 10.4 to 13.1 feet, long. The longest known individual measured 5.85 m, 19.2 feet. Ventral scales are uniformly oval-shaped. Dorsal scales are placed in an oblique arrangement. The king cobra is sexually dimorphic, with males being larger and paler in particular during the breeding season. Males captured in Kerala measured up to 3.75 m, 12.3 feet, and weighed up to 10 kilograms, 22 pounds. Females captured had a maximum length of 2.75 m, 9 feet, 0 in, and a weight of 5 kilograms, 11 pounds. The largest known king cobra was 5.59 m, 18 feet, 4 in, long and captured in Thailand. It differs from other cobra species by size and hood. It is larger, has a narrower and longer stripe on the neck. The king cobra has a wide distribution in South and Southeast Asia. It occurs up to an elevation of 2,000 m, 
6,600 feet. From the Terry in India and southern Nepal to the Brahmaputra River Basin in Bhutan and northeast India, Bangladesh and to Myanmar, southern China, Cambodia, Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, and the Philippines. Like other snakes, a king cobra receives chemical information via its forked tongue, which picks up scent particles and transfers them to a sensory receptor, Jacobson's organ, located in the roof of its mouth. When it detects the scent of prey, it flicks its tongue to gauge the prey's location, with the twin forks of the tongue acting in stereo. It senses earth-borne vibration and detects moving prey almost 100 m, 330 feet, away. Following envenomation, it swallows its prey whole. Because of its flexible jaws, it can swallow prey much larger than its head. It is considered diurnal because it hunts during the day, but has also been seen at night, rarely. The king cobra is an apex predator and dominant over all other snakes except large pythons. Its diet consists primarily of other snakes and lizards, including Indian cobra, banded crate, rat snake, pythons, green whip snake, keelback, banded wolf snake, and blithe's reticulated snake. It also hunts Malabar pit viper and hump-nosed pit viper by following their odor trails. In Singapore, one was observed swallowing a clouded monitor. When food is scarce, it also feeds on other small vertebrates, such as birds and lizards. In some cases, the cobra constricts its prey using its muscular body, though this is uncommon. After a large meal, it lives for many months without another one because of its slow metabolic rate. The king cobra is not considered aggressive. It usually avoids humans and slinks off when disturbed, but is known to aggressively defend incubating eggs and attack intruders rapidly. When alarmed, it raises the front part of its body, extends the hood, shows the fangs, and hisses loudly. Wild king cobras encountered in Singapore appeared to be placid, but reared up and struck in self-defense when cornered. The king cobra possesses a potent neurotoxic venom, and death can occur in as little as 30 minutes after being bitten. Most victims bitten by king cobras are snake charmers. Hospital records in Thailand indicate that bites from king cobras are very uncommon. The hiss of the king cobra is a much lower pitch than many other snakes, and many people thus liken its call to a growl rather than a hiss. While the hisses of most snakes are of a broad frequency span ranging from roughly 3,000 to 13,000 hertz, with a dominant frequency near 7,500 hertz, king cobra growls consist solely of frequencies below 2,500 hertz, with a dominant frequency near 600 hertz, a much lower sounding frequency closer to that of a human voice. Comparative anatomical morphometric analysis has led to a discovery of tracheal diverticula, that function as low-frequency resonating chambers in king cobra and its prey, the rat snake, both of which can make similar growls. The female is gravid for 50 to 59 days. The king cobra is the only snake that builds a nest using dry leaf litter, starting from late March to late May. Most nests are located at the base of trees, are up to 55 centimeters, 22 in, high in the center, and 140 centimeters, 55 in, wide at the base. They consist of several layers and have mostly one chamber, into which the female lays eggs. Clutch size ranges from 7 to 43 EGS, with 6 to 38 eggs hatching after incubation periods of 66 to 105 days. Temperature inside nests is not steady, but varies depending on elevation from 13.5 to 37.4 degrees. Celsius, 56.3 to 99.3 degrees Fahrenheit. Females stay by their nests between 2 and 77 days. Hatchlings are between 37.5 and 58.5 centimeters, 14.8 and 23.0 in, long and weigh 9 to 38 g, 0.32 to 1.34 oz. The king cobra's venom consists of cytotoxins and neurotoxins, including alpha neurotoxins and three finger toxins. Other components have cardiotoxic effects. Its venom is produced in anatomical glands named postorbital venom glands. It can deliver up to 420 mg venom in dry weight, 400-600 mg overall, per bite, with a LD50 toxicity in mice of 1.28 mg per kilogram through intravenous injection, 1.5 to 1.7 mg per kilogram through subcutaneous injection, 
and 1.644 mg per kilogram through intraperitoneal injection. For research purposes, up to 1 g of venom was obtained through milking. The toxins affect the victim's central nervous system, resulting in severe pain, blurred vision, vertigo, drowsiness, and eventually paralysis. If the envenomation is serious, it progresses to cardiovascular collapse, and the victim falls into a coma. Death soon follows due to respiratory failure. The affected person can die within 30 minutes of envenomation. Ohanian, a protein component of the venom, causes hypolocomotion and hyperalgesia in mammals. Large quantities of antivenom may be needed to reverse the progression of symptoms. Polyvalent antivenom of equine origin is produced by Hoffin Institute and King Institute of Preventive Medicine and Research in India. A polyvalent antivenom produced by the Thai Red Cross Society can effectively neutralize venom of the king cobra. In Thailand, a concoction of turmeric root has been clinically shown to create a strong resilience against the venom of the king cobra when ingested. Proper and immediate treatments are critical to avoid death. Successful precedents include a client who recovered and was discharged in 10 days after being treated by accurate antivenom and inpatient care.